continuing from where we left off, last what we had was we had got the user's profile picture and we got the user's name. But the profile picture like we saw was a low resolution profile picture. What we need is the high resolution profile picture. Secondly, the profile picture is directly being taken from Facebook right now. It is not stored in our database. What we'd like to do is we'd like to have the profile picture stored in our own Firebase database so that it's not always referenced from Facebook. So what we're going to start with is uh, Firebase storage. So for that, let's go into the documentation of Firebase. Under the storage section, here we have get started. Add Firebase storage to your app. First thing we need to do is add the pod for that. And open item. In your project folder, open the pod file. And here we just add this pod, which is pod Firebase storage. And we'll save it and run pod install like we did earlier. And there we have Firebase storage installed. Coming here, we'll import Firebase storage here. And we'll start with the tutorial. Let's see. So the first thing we need to do is import Firebase, which is done. This is already done. We need a reference to our storage service. So let's get that. Let's just put it here for now. Reference to the storage service. And now let's go to create a reference. Here the important thing is you need to create a reference from your storage service. So copy this line in. I'll show you how to do that. We'll put that in here. Refer your particular storage service. So you see this line of code over here is the bucket that it's referring to. We need to get to that. For that we'll go into Firebase console and go into storage and we'll get this line from here. This is the reference to our storage service and we'll paste that in here. So there we have a reference to our storage service. Okay, so we'll leave our storage part there for now and we'll start with getting our profile picture from Facebook. To do that, we'll go and see the documentation on how to make the graph request. We, here, if you go into user and we go into picture, this is where it says to make the request to get the user's profile picture. We need to convert this into Swift. So we'll come here, paste this in here. I had already pasted it and we'll convert it to just get the data. And it didn't work. Okay. There we have it. So this is the code we need. And we need to make slight modifications to this. We don't need the connection type. We don't need to declare the result type either or the error type. Okay, and it's going to be, let's call it profile pick equal to, and uh, we need to also remove user ID and put in me instead of that because we're getting it for the user that's logged in. Update this to profile pick as well. And for the parameters, we can uh, put in height we want is equal to, sorry, we need it to be 300 width 300. And this is very important. We need to make sure that we put redirect to false. And did we miss? Oh yeah, we missed a colon there. No punctuation there. So redirect has to be false. Why is that? I'll show it to you here. It says here at the bottom, the default value of redirect is true. By default, the picture edge will return a picture instead of a JSON response. If you want to the picture edge to return JSON that, that describes the image, set redirect equal to zero or false. So when you make the request, so we want it to return the JSON. That's how we're going to set it to false. Now we leave the request to get and we'll check if the error is equal equal to nil. We'll print 
the result that we received. We'll see. Let's let's have a look at the JSON that we're getting. There, you can have a look at it at the bottom here. That. That the result is getting printed and uh, it's showing us that the width is 320, height is 320, and it's printing the data here. So, what we need to do is we need to convert this JSON into a dictionary so that we can access it. So, if the error is equal to nil, because we can't directly access JSON in uh, uh, Swift, so for that we're going to do if error is equal to nil, what we need to do is let uh, let's create a let's dictionary equal to result dot result as a dictionary ns dictionary and is it okay let data equal to dictionary object for key and we 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 already know that it's called data here so we're going to put it as data and uh, let url pick equal to uh, data okay we're going to need data dot object for key and we have to get the url and we're going to force unwrap that and also force convert it into a string because we need to have it as a string when we later convert it so now we say if let data equal to ns data and contents of url ns url and we put in string of type url pick okay so if we get image let's let's make this image data to avoid confusion basically if we get an image what we want to do is Okay, we're gonna have to force unwrap this. We want to upload this image to our storage. So you say let profile pick reference. Now this is the exact reference where you want to store this image in dot child, and we'll use the user dot uid as the folder so that each user has a separate folder for his profile pick, and each user's profile pick is called profile pick. Let me just clarify that once to you. If we go here and we go into Firebase and we look at storage, we'll basically have a folder here with the user's user ID, and inside that folder we'll have an image called profile pic. So that's what we've done here, and this is going to be storage ref. This is the same storage ref that we created here, but we're just creating a child of that to store it here. Okay. Now we need the next thing we need to do is we need to upload the image. So for that we'll do dot put data profile pic dot put data and we're going to use data metadata nil and here we need metadata comma error in if error not equal to e, sorry equal equal to nil then we're going to say let the download url equal to metadata dot download url else print we've had an error error in downloading image okay and i'm just going to clarify this to you how we managed to get here and this is going to be instead of data this is going to be image data sorry so if you have a look at the documentation of firebase here this is where it shows us to upload a file. We created the child, 
the reference and then to upload it we're uploading from data and memory because it's in our memory of the application let upload task equal to the reference which is storage reference in our case dot put data and then we have the same code here so if we come back here that's what we've done if let image date if if an image is downloaded refer the folder that we want to update it into and upload the image now basically we need to display the image that we've downloaded this download URL I just showed you because the metadata has a lot of things that you can see either you can get the size the content type or the download URL is available it's not necessary that you need to use it I just showed it to you so now if the image exists and is uploaded successfully what we'll do is we'll update the image and we'll set it to image data and that should show us the profile picture let's try this out now there you have it now we have a bigger much more clearer high resolution photograph that's there now the important thing to note is that every time the user will log in this will try and download the image and upload the image again and again which is pointless we want to be able to check if the image already exists and only if it doesn't exist should we download this image from Facebook now we can confirm if this image has been uploaded by going here and going into our console and checking let's uh, just refresh this and see if that images have been uploaded or not and as we had seen this is the UID of the user if you go inside you have the image of the user which will come here which is profile so now we need to see if the user already has a profile picture before we start to download and upload the, that picture so for that we're going to go into the documentation again see how to download files and here it says download in memory so we don't want to if you can if you want to try and download into the device of the user but we only want it to be downloaded into memory before we check it so let's see what we need is we need this code over here let's copy this and it says download in memory with the maximum allowed size of 1 MB so let's come back here into Xcode and let's paste this here change island ref to storage ref no sorry it's going to be have it will have to change that to this reference because we want to download the exact file in fact we can just bring this outside uh, of the brackets and put it here to get the exact reference and this will be profile pick reference dot data with maximum size this is so if error is uh, not equal to nil that means something has some problem has occurred if the, the file doesn't exist or the, the user is not authorized so for now we'll just say that unable to download image we'll dig into the errors later and if um, error is equal equal to nil that means that the data for the image is returned so it will, we'll just check it again if data not equal equal to nil selection if data not equal to nil self dot ui image profile pick image is equal to ui image data and we put data in. set that in next we just need to do what we need to do is we just need to check that if self dot ui image view correction image view profile pick dot image not e or is equal equal to nil only then should we try and download the image
Okay, so this is done. There's one more thing that I realized when I was going through my code is this line will be uncommented in your code. We forgot to remove this. So we just have to remove this from here, in fact, right now. Otherwise, this will not come nil and we will not be able to download the image again. So now let's stop this and let's run. And it should work. There, we have the image and uh, that's the bigger image. Let's go here and let's check it out here. Let's go into storage, the image, and we try and do it again if it works properly. So here, if you go inside, we do have the image here. So let's go back to storage and let's just get rid of this. There it is. Now we come back here, stop this, run this again. Okay, there it's got the image for us again, and the image should be visible here again. Uh, of uh, once we okay, there it is, it's back again, and also we can just confirm that it only downloads the image if it is empty. So we can just put like a print here. Sorry. We can just put a print here. User already has an image, no need to download from Facebook. Let's run this and check it out. You, as you can see, user already has an image, no need to download from Facebook, and this is taking it from the Firebase database storage so that's it for now in the future videos we'll uh, dive deeper into the features that firebase has to offer and try and build a complete application with firebase as the backend thanks for watching